Hello everyone, it's Valley at Brand. I want to, in this video, talk about is there ever going to be a second thing, a second event similar to say Big Payday, right? There's a lot of people, Motley Investor had mentioned even on his stream recently that one of his friends missed the Big Payday uh, aside from one steak, which might not have been their whole bag. And they weren't too bummed out, but someone like Motley was because he realized, hey, you know, you're not getting maybe a doubling, but you're getting at least like 30% on like, I think a one day steak. And so I want to answer the question that, is there ever going to be a second big payday? And the answer is yes. If you happen to not be in hex right now, and you happen to not have any stakes right now, well, then if you either are already in crypto and you convert your crypto to hex or whether you buy hex, um, the point is, is you'll have your stake duplicated and you'll have your hex duplicated when the actual pull chain fork comes out and when the uh, block height snapshot is is released. And so when, when people look at other airdrops, you know, it might be a, a smaller incentive or it might not be something as similar as duplicating the, the coin and the actual network itself, the system state. But with PulseChain.com, Richard is doing something that's been never, uh, it's never been done before, where it is a complete system state copy. Pretty much everything is going to be copied over directly. So if you have a NFT JPEG uh, copied over on, uh, sorry, if you have an NFT on Ethereum, it's going to be copied over to PulseChain. Same thing, if you have Chainlink, great, it's going to be copied over, that's cool, right? But the unique thing about Hex is you have the T-share and you have the T-share rate, right? Which constantly goes up uh, in the form of hex. And so I think it's a really good opportunity for people that are kind of, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're, they're laying low and they're kind of just seeing how the market's performing. But in my opinion, personally, um, the more that you kind of like observe and aren't invested in say something like hex, then I think the more that you will miss out because the actual rate of the T-share is constantly going up. And then even if you were kind of like halfway on the boat with Hex, well, guess what? You're going to get a copy on a cheaper network. So sometimes you hear the fear of people saying, hey, I'm not going to stake my Hex because maybe I stake it one year and maybe the Ethereum fee is just so much an expense that now it costs me maybe 20%, 25% of my profit of what I was going to make in the gas. Well, guess what? Pulse Chain here is coming to solve your problems. And I think it's really cool for anyone, whether it be NFTs, whether it be things like uh, Mana, Decentraland. I don't really know much about it, but I know it's like real estate on the blockchain. And I know that the fees currently, just like with the... Uh, JPEGs or NFTs, that the rate is ridiculously high compared to what you're getting. There's the value that you're getting, and then there's the price that you pay. And Richard has always talked about that. I think it's a really cool concept to understand when it comes to not only business, but investing. And so that's pretty much what I think currently. Uh, it's going to be the largest airdrop in history. And instead of speculating in oh, this Oracle is going to copy over just fine on this network, you know, why not get into the 100% trustless decentralized finance cryptocurrency, which is Hex, that has had, like I said, 100% uptime. There's a lot of cryptocurrencies that have had bugs, they've had downtime, they've had hacks, uh, inflation, uh, inflation bugs, I mean, uh, the whole nine yards. And something like Hex has had, you know, no critical vulnerabilities. It's had no issues since it's been launched, which was December 2nd, 2019. And so I think for some of my friends, I, I do this video, right? Because some of my friends are watching. Some of my friends on Facebook, on Instagram, I link it pretty much everywhere. And I want to get to the people that are investing that see what the future is beholding, but maybe they're not familiar with Hex. You know, maybe they're not familiar with um compound interest as far as how can they actually invest that gets them compound interest. Everyone knows at the end of the day that Albert Einstein said 
the eighth wonder of the world is compounding interest, right? And he who holds it pretty much knows how it works. And he who doesn't sometimes is too naive and ignorant to realize. And so that's why I, uh, I would be, as far as my opinion goes, if I was just getting into, say, Hex, I would be, uh, you know, my opinion would be to get into it and start staking. That way you're using the smart contract how it's meant to be and you're not kind of just, you know, pussyfooting, holding on your bag 100% liquid. I know someone personally that on November 19th, which was the big payday of 2020, they wanted to speculate. They wanted to do the buy the rumor, sell the news event. Well, guess what? They sold it, uh, let's see, 20% of a penny. And they weren't staked, aside from the stakes that I gave them for free. And uh, guess what? They got wrecked. They got absolutely wrecked. They traded it for Ethereum. I don't even think, this is the biggest part, I don't even think they traded it into dollars. They just traded it into Ethereum and then went into a whole bunch of different you know, projects and, and promise coins. And the point of the... The point of the you know video and the story is you want to be in assets that are going to work for you and have a certainty that they're not going to be too risky for you to invest in, right? Something like Hex is almost like a 0% risk because it actually does what it's, what it's marketed and what it's claiming to do, right? The actual APY is around say 38% on a five, you know, on an average, uh, time length of stake. And so it, it's really cool. All of the information is transparent. It's visible for you to see, for you to copy, for you to verify, for you to audit. And I've never seen anything better, right? And we're going from this term that I've, I'm starting to just, you know, broadcast this to the hexagons, to everyone else. Richard had even mentioned it too. But we're going from that pre-virality term you know, Hex is pre-viral, uh, pre-viral to Hex is like, you know, pre-viral, like it's almost freaking viral, you know, and we got 500, you know, half a million uh, subscriber followers interviewing with Richard and we've got Richard just kind of stepping up his game and just being more professional and, you know, more charismatic to the people. So he's not so like uh, alienating one side or the other, especially with Pulse Chain, right? This is something all the hexagons need to learn. It's like, okay, hey, before we crap talk this thing, like, let's just understand they're part of the community. But uh, that's pretty much all I have at the end of the day is, you know, shout out to all the hexagons that were there early. And hey, if you're not there early, that's fine. You're not late. But what you can understand is if you treat this like, say, a 401k or like something that's going to be somewhat long term, you're going to get a duplicate with Pulse Chain. And if you act now, you don't have to worry about, oh, did I miss a snapshot? Because what it's going to be is not an airdrop. It's going to be a, uh, a certain block height. So the crypto, you know, the blockchain, it kind of does the blocks and stuff. But the next block height, when it's announced, is going to be the one where the whole system state is copied. And that's the one that you need to be in, that you need to have the fees paid. You need to have your, your stake or your liquid hex. And that's the one that it'll be you know, officially copied over on everything. So it's important not to, uh, like I mentioned, pussyfoot. I know someone in the Celsius community that was like, Brand, I'm earning, you know, like a two or 3% interest on this annually or whatever it was. And they're like, when is the snapshot? So I can just pull this and then get the snapshot. And that's the trader mentality. And that's the mentality that I divorced myself from uh, over about three, about three years ago. And so I just want to encourage everyone that, hey, you might have missed Big Payday, but the, you know, block height reward and the airdrop and the snapshot, which is what the actual airdrop itself is going to be your redemption. So whatever your coin is, whether it's Chainlink or whatever, it's going to be on Pulse Chain. And the point is, is, you know, the people that are part of the community, if it's true DeFi, they need to build a front end for it. And otherwise hey, they can just stay on the Ethereum network, but it's meant to be faster, cheaper, and a better experience, just like Ethereum was supposed to be, or like Ethereum 2.0 is marketed to be. So Pulse Chain is beating Ethereum 2.0 to its launch. And just wanted to say thank you to everyone.